Shout out Brianna, Martina, and Hansi from Nerdforge here, and we're gonna make crystal resin daggers. It's about time we make some awesome weapons for the armors that we made. You know what the best part is? I think I know what the best part is. Is it the crystal dagger blades? Yeah! We need designs, people. We can't just make daggers. They gotta look good as well. So let's jump into Photoshop and make some designs. Uh, what will I be doing right now? <laughs> Maybe clean the workshop? I've drawn up a couple of different designs, but I think this is the best one. And this will be like the actual size. I think we should start making the crystal blade first. And I'm thinking I can make it out of polymer clay to make the blank. Mm -hmm. And then we make a mold. So you do your molding thing and I make some clay. Sounds good. Farewell. Okay. Farewell. <laughs> polymer clay time. Let's go. Okay guys, while Martina is finishing the polymer clay blank in the basement, I'm out here in the garage and I'm apparently gonna make some clay. Used to be a software engineer, now I'm out here making clay in the middle of a Tuesday. And I'm just hoping the recipe I have is correct because I have never done this before. But this is our boiling water, salt and citric acid. We have some oil. I'm gonna add some food coloring. Nasty. Okay, let's add the flour and now just mix and it's supposed to become clay. I think I have to use both hands for this so I'll get back to you guys. This is actually turning out quite nice. The red was probably not the color to go for. This looks kind of grotesque. Hello. You have to talk to my mic because you're okay. on the Hello. label. <laughs> uh, made, I made the play-doh. Do you want to see it? Yes. Ew! <laughs> Why is it flesh colored? <laughs> I know the color wasn't the best. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna work though. I think so. Oh, it's so sad. Okay, but I should maybe make some more. Yes. I'll just borrow this in the meantime. <laughs> so Martina is finished with these beautiful polymer clay blanks. And we're now ready to cast them using plaster. To be able to make a two-part mold, we're gonna use my beautiful homemade Play-Doh as support. To support half of it. Fill it with plaster and then flip the whole thing around and do it again to get two parts of the mold. So, let's do that! Okay, so we got the two parts of the mold and we cast both the halves in resin mm -hmm. and then we used a little bit of resin in between to just like glue them together. And hopefully it will turn out okay. Yes. We did use a lot of petroleum jelly here, so hopefully this will just... It should just like pop right out. But, oh! Yes! <laughs> actually pretty darn cool. Obviously yeah. it needs a lot of cleanup around the edge yeah. and I also think some sanding as well. My favorite thing! <laughs> okay. okay, give it. Give it. I'll take it outside. Let's go!
Alright friends, you know what's up. Before we move on, here's an ad for Skillshare. I really love Skillshare and if you haven't heard of it, it's this awesome online learning community with literally thousands of classes in all kinds of creative fields. It's made specifically for learning, so there's no ads and there's always new classes being launched so that you can explore new skills and also develop your already existing interests. So me, for example, I'm really interested in art and I'm always looking for ways to improve my work. And so I found this class called Color Master Class, Simple Steps to Create Vivid Art by Victor Nye. And I really enjoyed this course as it goes in depth on how to use color purposefully in your work. Like she actually made color theory really fun, interesting and easy to understand. Good job. Skillshare has classes for all kinds of different creative fields and no matter if you're a beginner or a pro, they have classes for all kinds of skill levels too. So if you want to start exploring your creativity, make sure to click the link down below because the first 1000 to sign up will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And back to the project. Now the blades are starting to take shape and I'm going to focus on the cross guard. Now I 3D modeled the cross guard and I printed it out on our Anycubic resin printer, but I want to turn this into brass. So to be able to turn this into brass, we have to make another mold because we have to turn it into wax first. I know, there's just too many molds. We are going to use some silicone putty and we're gonna first make the first layer and then we're gonna make another layer to make a two part mold. I'm gonna pour some wax in there and hopefully we can get a good wax mold and that we can turn into copper. So let's try this. I think this looks pretty good. Seems to have caught the detail. I'll just have to remove the blank here. It worked and it fits so perfectly. You can kind of feel the air locks it in, which is great because we don't want any leakage in there. And now we can take our wax and we can heat it up, pour it into the mold and see what we get. I'm just gonna use the scalpel, clean this up, and then we'll get to the investment casting part. Okay, so we have done just a little bit off cam, and all we did was attach some wax rods to the cross guard and to this cap, and this cap is actually a part of a professional casting flask. But actually, more fitting to us, we made the same setup, just using IKEA items, and this is a cutlery holder that we cut in half. And this is just the cap for the cutlery holder. And it's kind of like tacky, but I hope it will work because we do need two of them. This will be kind of like a comparison, DIY or buy, like integrated in this video, you're welcome. So what we're gonna do now is to use something called investment powder to cast around the wax. Then we can burn out the wax and finally add our metal into the mold that will hopefully have magically formed if we're doing this right, which we don't know if we are really. But this is gonna take a lot of time, so I think we can just roll a montage and let's do this!
Oh my god, Hansi, these turn out so pretty. I'm quite happy with how shiny they got. Yes! I mean, they are by no means perfect, but I mean, they are investment casted. Yes! It's like a new skill unlocked yet again. So what's missing is the handle and the pommel. Yeah, and I think inside the handle will have some LED lights. Mm. And I want to make it so that when you touch the handle, the whole blade lights up. That would be amazing! We're gonna need a handle, so I'll handle it. You go work on the electronics, yep. and I'll stay here working on the handle. Wait. I, I'm gonna stay here and work on the electronics. Wait, where am I supposed to go then? <laughs> you have to go outside. Oh, frick. Okay, see you later. <laughs> it's so freaking bright outside. <laughs> These are the blanks I'm gonna use for the handles. It's made of walnut, which is probably my favorite kind of wood. And I really just cut them into squares and drilled a little hole in right through the middle here. It should be just big enough for the batteries. And now I'm gonna use our trusted belt sander jig here and a Dremel to try to carve these into some hopefully decent looking handles. Let's do this. We got the blades and we got the cross guards attached to them and we did that using some epoxy glue and just poured some epoxy resin in there and now they are stuck in there hopefully forever. But now we are entering the final stage of this build because we are going to make the blades light up and we're gonna use some batteries and some LEDs to do that as you probably could imagine but we are going to be using this whole effect switch which makes the LEDs light up once you approach it with a magnet. This means we can put a magnet in, for instance, a glove, and every time you touch the handle with the glove, then the blade will magically light up. Think this is going to be really cool. And after that, all we have to do is to cast the pommel, and then we can do the final assembly. So let's just get into this, do the electronics, and get going with the final parts of this build. this project and it felt like it was never gonna be finished but here we are there's just been like so many new processes like the investment casting lost mm. wax like making the dough it feels like like a, another life yes. basically <laughs> but now we're here and they are finally finished and man was it worth it they are so heavy and nice i'm so happy with them before somebody complains about like how we're gonna change the batteries and stuff we can just take out the pommel it's pressure fit in there so we just pop it off and now we can take out the batteries and then change the batteries and put it back in. So it's very convenient. Yes. Just another thing before, you know, we finish this and show you the final result. We have a Discord server what? and there, there's a great community there. Yes. And I'm sure a lot of you didn't know. It's a good place to, you know, share your art. Yeah, and your, your projects. art, your projects, just 
come join us. It's a really, really nice community. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for our patrons and YouTube members for supporting us. And now, let's have a look at the final result. Yeah.